a lot of people wonder why do you need um, a Pi system? Why can't you just put all that data in Hadoop? We're so successful for the operations and the real-time spaces because we solve the whole problem for customers. So we do everything that's necessary in a product form to get all of the data collected from all kinds of different industrial systems, older systems, newer systems, uh, PLCs, SCADA, um, distributed control systems, and gather it in a single real-time platform. Very solid platform that can consume literally gigabytes of data in minutes, and then be able to retrieve the data. It's one thing to stuff data in a database quickly, but Pi will also let us go back to archive data that might be three years old and retrieve it in really a matter of seconds. Why is time series data different? You have data coming from all kinds of different equipment, maybe at very unregular intervals. The sensors that are out there collecting the data, they might get turned off or lose power. They might lose communication, so you get holes in the data. They might need calibration so that you might get a misreading every once in a while. Readings that are clearly out of band. You get some drift in data, and you need to be able to go back and look and correct that. And it's almost 100,000 samples a second. And we need to do that for two or three hundred channels simultaneously. Lots of times when I talk to customers, they just say, eh, you can't do that. Or we'll talk to a customer's IT group and they'll say, there's no way I'm going to let you put that much data in Pi. Pi really takes care of all that for people. Maybe in our, our classical past, it's always been plant floor engineers and process engineers. Typically what they're looking at, um, how is their process running? Are there ways to optimize those processes? Is it the right quality? Does it meet the right standards? It may also be looking at things like the machinery. Is it getting close to failure? Does it need calibration? Is it healthy? If a process engineer wanted to use just straight big data, it would be very difficult for them because there's not a lot of out-of-the-box tooling that, that is built for real time. So they literally have to write code. Most process engineers are not software engineers. You know, my biggest problem is trying to convince people that we can actually do what we do. And then you show them and they go, you're cheating. You must be doing smoke and mirrors. Pi won't do, but in reality, it really can. 